hello guys welcome back to my channel as you know my girl i'm your girl <laughs> my name is avia and on this channel i share my van life journey while traveling in faith i am at kidogo farms which is a black owned homestead and they have campsites here as well i am here for memorial day weekend with a few other campers and of course the owners of the property and <laughs> so far guys i set up my pop-up tent this is not a tent to sleep in or anything like that this is a tent just to get shade as you can tell it is raining today and it's supposed to rain all night and it's supposed to rain as well all day tomorrow i am definitely on a farm guys <laughs> and there's roosters i think there's a goat around here and there's a few other spots but i'm gonna take you guys back here to this glamping spot so if you ever want to go glamping on a homestead this glamping tent is awesome so let me take you back there to show it to you now y'all know i don't do woods too well okay abia is trying to get over some of her fears but this is a nice little spot right here here is a bathroom right here and here is a nice glamping area I mean, with the exception of the rain, but you have a nice glamping tent. Here is a shower that she said that I can use. I've never taken a shower outside. <laughs> Quite interesting. It does have hot water. The tent comes with AC, TV, refrigerator, uh, all that good stuff. <clears throat> just has everything you need fire pit nice spot nice spot very beautiful yeah so if that's something that sparks your interest you know look up Kidoga I believe I said that right <laughs> you know out here in South Carolina well hi there Oh, well, hi. Are you staying out the rain? So I know you can't see me, but it's cold today. <laughs> it's cold, so I'm going to wear some long pants today. But I know some of you suggested that I get a portable toilet. And I do have a portable toilet. Yeah, so my portable toilet sits in that thing with my portable sink and some other toiletry, toilet paper. And I keep my cat litter in there as well. Uh, but, oh, let me show. If you can see, yeah. There's the portable toilet. I keep my cat litter in this container that fits in the ottoman up there. And then when this is low, I have the the bag underneath and I'll just refill it. And my tent didn't stand a chance last night, guys. It is um, staked down to the ground. But we might not even use it because it's just gonna rain. But it stopped raining, finally. It stopped raining.
Oh, her tent didn't last either. It did get windy last night. But. <sighs> Hold on. Just pull it out. Yeah. It's just, I shouldn't even put that up. Knowing it was going to rain the way it did. Yeah, I shouldn't even put that up, but oh well. We are going to go to the bathroom. It is soaking wet out here. Is it starting to rain again? I think that's just the water from the trees. Let's go to the bathroom. Okay. I'll catch you guys back in a minute. I don't know what they got growing here. I know nothing about gardening, growing food. I really don't. I would walk that way, but guys, um, it's a lot of water. <laughs> and I don't feel like getting my feet soaked. Here goes some more gardening. They know what they're doing. Wow. They have garden all back in those things. They also teach. They have educational classes for this as well. So you look them up online. If you want to do a homestead, want to start your garden, these people are doing it, living it, have experienced it, and can definitely teach and educate others on what to do based on their experiences. <clears throat> some more stuff. It's getting windy and it's starting to rain again. It's a lot of work. But the rewards are great. Got my Keurig plugged in. Folgers. And it's 61 degrees inside of my van. High humidity, yes. Because of all the rain, I'm sure. But it's not hot at all. I slept really great last night. This is like the ultimate luxury in my van. One of my ultimate luxuries is my Keurig machine. I'm telling you, this makes me feel like I'm living large, man. So let's have our first sip together. Good morning. Toast. Mm.
That shower was great. <laughs> now I gotta deal with this. Everything is soaked. <sighs> yeah. They got soaked in too. It rained the whole time. <laughs> This thing is on, soaking uh, wet. Uh, 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 so much So today is Sunday at Kittigo Farms and it rained the whole entire weekend guys seriously like all day so none of the plans unfortunately worked out this weekend but we still I enjoyed myself I can only speak for myself but I believe the other ladies enjoyed themselves as well so we kind of just gathered together yesterday in one of her tiny houses on the property um, away from the rain and with some heat and good conversations and it was just a bonding moment between women <laughs> so today i'm not sure how it's going to go um the rain it's not raining it rained last night too but we're trying to recover from the rain. <laughs> so I'm not sure how today is going to go. But I think I'm going to stay here a little longer. Um, because I do believe that Alicia, which is the owner of the property, wants to still like kind of show us some things. And so hopefully the weather is on our side. But I think I'm going to stay here for another day or so. I don't know. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm going to stay for the long haul, you know, despite the rain showers and everything else, everyone still had, you know, a positive attitude and we still made the most of it. So, Kitago Farms, I really like it here and Alicia is so down to earth and her husband is down to earth, just they have a nice homestead here and they are very welcoming very welcoming even the goats will welcome you yeah <laughs> good morning good morning guys Uh, 
My cousin say y'all enjoy the Geechee life. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, babe. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, she's she's like, what is she, she putting on the show. Oh, They can get caught in the sun. Um, you know, at the right angle, they just catch them. Deers do it all the time. What you want them to see that? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I just woke up like this. No, I woke up. I, woke up, I ain't have my wig on. I said, like, "Ooh, let me go." I heard the shower. I said, like, "Ooh, let me go get ready." <laughs> and I ain't have my wig. On. I said, "Yeah, yeah, baby, my daughter." <laughs> Some of the stuff we brought in here, we didn't. Like it's another rabbit. Uh uh, see? Uh oh. Get down, Bernice. Get down, Bernice. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? What's that goat name? Um, what's the goat name? <laughs> she do too much. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Go fall asleep <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> he knocked out. Are you snoring? <laughs>
The flower, the way the leaves look, it looks like, and then it's prolific. It grows in little stalks like this. So that's a hedge. Is that medicinal? Yeah. Like a, that's, that's to my knowledge. That's mm -hmm. like a, a weed. No, you know, like the little hedges in front of your grandma's house, and they keep them nice and manicured, yeah. or in the cul-de-sac. Yeah. In the oh. HOAs, you get the little hedges bush. Okay. These, if you, you're supposed to keep them cut down, but when they grow up and you know, leggy. They just provide an under brush. Now come walk this way. But that encompasses thousands of varieties. Oh, so you just seen the well, okay. Yeah. So see we don't we don't see the okay. now see this We don't see the value in it. Bear. Is what it is. Bush. Bush. See those berries? They're mm. gonna turn blue. These are edible. Look at the flat wide leaf. And it's white under. Okay, I'm trying to see the difference. But see, I would think this is the same. It's just because it's this not no, the same. No, look at it. Look at them two. Them two not the same. Because this is wider and this is wider tighter and, and a little crispier. Yeah, this one is a light green. So those those, are, like those are not this edible. This look weird. Yeah. Right. This okay. is edible. Yeah. Wow, I can, that's not edible. Because this feels mm. like a plant. This feels like artificial. Right. Okay. And so let me see if I can find some ripe berries. Nope. Those are blueberries. And see, it grow right next to, I'm sorry, those are don't eat me blackberries. Grow right next to an uh, edible blueberry. Oh, sure. Okay. Mm. Oh, I see. You see the difference? These start out green, they mm -hmm. turn purple, and yep. then they turn blue when they're ripe. Purple. Okay. You see that one up there? Big one. Yeah. That's a ripe bear. If you want to eat it, you can. Mm -hmm. oh, you wanna I try had it? strawberry earlier. That's you want to try you? it? Yeah, out there. I can have that it. Really you sweet. want me to eat it? You want to try it? it. Try if you it. don't want it, I'll eat it. Okay, it's it's purple, so it's not as ripe, which means it's, it's going to it be, might be a little color? bitter. Blue. Blue. It will be bitter. But I'm going to eat it because I don't want little man to think it's not edible. Mm. Off of this tree, these are edible. Oh, here's a ripe one. <laughs> yep, that one is ripe. It's just really tiny. So I'm gonna eat a ripe one with a not so ripe one so it's not so sour. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It's not sour. Look right, remember I was telling sure somebody is. about pine sap? Uh -huh. See when the tree gets damaged, uh -huh. it sends out sap to kind of try to repair it. That's almost like the tree was bleeding. Okay. Mm. Right? And that's but a resin too that this you can is burn. Turpentine. Okay. This one's kind of old. You can't really smell it. What's turpentine? Yep, you can. Mm. Run your finger in there. <laughs> What's I mean, she smell she it. said what it was, but I forgot. What was it? Smell it and, and let me and let me and okay. you tell me. Oh yes. What does it smell like? Heaven. Ooh, no. Like don't get high. I love this smell though. But it's like me, a tell me eucalyptics. why you love it. Eucalyptics, kind of, but it's pine. Aromatherapy. Kind of, but oh my gosh, you can you can get high off of that, babe. Really? Oh, oh really? I get high off of Turpentine. Turpentine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it, it can be used as a fuel. Oh, and that's why pine thing. trees burn so fast. Oh, because it the, gives off the fuel. Well, the it's this is inside of the tree. When you cut it, it leaks. Mm. Um, if I find one that's freshly bruised, because you can tell this is old. It was bruised you know years here? ago. What's that? Where? Yep. That's turpentine right there. You would take this and put it around so snakes don't come up by your house. And the smell is addictive. That's mm, like an oil in there. This looks like an oil. You should that's see my addictive. oils in my car. I got a big thing of oils. Wow. Turpentine. Mm. Can you take a picture of me? Uh, yes, I'm taking a video. video. I got that girl. I got that. My video yeah. phone. <laughs> I'm a, this is like, I got some fresh bay leaves. leaves. Like how just growing out in the wild. Yeah, bay leaves. Wow. Bay leaves come from the laurel tree. Don't ask me why it's not a bay tree. Wow. <laughs> but you heard me. We were talking it. about money earlier. And we uh, just dry them out, like just set them out in the sun. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you light on it. Right on it. Yeah. That, I'm about to say, you know what? That's a sign. Let's right go there. get you some plantains for that whelk on your arm. Okay. Plantains help with, um, it's an extrangent. Mm -hmm. So it'll pull, if there's a, you know, something that's irritating you, it'll pull it out. Mm. 
that's not the same one. This that's what one. I was thinking too. Ooh. Right? I'm about the plantains. Ooh. Like, well, that's the. You take it and you Ooh. release the Ooh. oils and the juices in the leaf and you put it on your burn or oh. your. And that's what this is. That's a fish. Mm hmm. So this is like a vine. Oh. No, that's a cucumber. Oh, so this I need one on my ankle. It's you probably a mosquito. Yep, mosquito bites. It'll stop it from stinging. Mm -hmm. Just crush it, yeah. That leaf, and how you know it when you pull it apart, mm -hmm. the veins in the leaf persist. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that should make you feel a little bit better. And if not, just come over here. It grows prevalent. You see? Mm. We don't cut these up. We don't pull them up. We just keep I already them. feel so good. When you come out here and get mosquito bites. It's like, go get some of that plantain. Oh. Or ant bite. This little girl got into an ant bed, and her mom was like, oh my God, I gotta leave to go. I gotta run to the dollar store. I was like, come here. And she's two now, so she's just yelling. Mm -hmm. I just took it and crushed it up in my hand, put some in my mouth and was chewing it up, mm -hmm. and I put it on her legs and her foot. And the little girl was looking at me. Mm -hmm. So maybe the, the like you. She, she was distracted from the pain, but then she stopped crying. Aww. Her mom was like, does this work? I'm like, look at your child, not me. <laughs> <laughs> she was just screaming. Yeah. Oh, it's a few more up here, look. Goji berries? Mm -hmm. Did Goji you plant that? Oh, they were here. On no, hand. we planted these in a pot. We nursed them for two years. Oh, okay. And this is the first year we're putting them in the ground. This is an acquired taste, but I, I mean, you're on the farm, so you got to win in Rome. <laughs> Some are a little overripe, but you want it to be at least ripe. You want to try one? Goji berries. Goji berries. Oh. Want to taste them? Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> is she hiding from the FBI? Oh. That mm -hmm. was not. <laughs> it's peppery. Mm. It's something. It's different. It has a lot of nutritional yes. value. Yeah. yeah. Bitter. <laughs> yeah, that part. Very bitter. Yeah. And then once and that's done. right. Mm. Nothing it sweet like about it. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's that's something. why when you get them at the store, just know they've already added sugar. So no, any medicinal say, value it no should have, so it's not going to be there. Really? What's the? Hold on. Adrian, you guys are banana this. pudding popcorn. My goodness. Mm. Thank you. It tastes like banana pudding for real, for real. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look. So grab it and then twist it. Slowly, but twist, twist, twist. Now pull it. Oh. <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta cook them. No, you can eat them you, like that. You can eat them raw. Oh, okay. I love me some soupy. Can I try one? <laughs> Where's your spicy mm. um, kale? Or you had mm. us try the spicy um, collard greens you had to try last year? Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. They've all bolted pretty much. Mm. What are you doing? Um, these that are trailing out here, mm -hmm. we want to train them up. Oh. So I'm trying to. So this is your vine. Yeah. You just take it and kind of wrap it around, and then. That's not the only one, one though. It was one right here. And that's not the only one though. Look right here. You want to get this one? Okay, then you can pick that one, man. Now, let me show you how you pick cucumber. You don't want to yank it off the bush because you'll break it. Put your finger on the top of it, and we're going to pop it across, pop it off. Oh, that's Let me show you. Come here. Give me your hand. You had to pop it. Give me both of them. You're going to hold the fruit with one hand and take your thumb up here and push that vine off right there. Take your thumb. I need the other thumb. This thumb. Push it right here. Push that vine. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> that way we don't rip the vine spiky. apart. Let me it see is spiky. Come here, let me see a cucumber. That's a Hold personal it in. natural defenses. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. We headed to the river. To the Black River. To the Black River. <laughs> what? Say hi, y'all. We in the country. We in the country. We, we in the country, country y'all. With Leisha Gullagichi. We rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling roll to the Black River. <laughs> the river's calling. The river's calling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Can you see it? Okay, yeah. you ready? 
The, the water, water is calling. The river. Oh, the river. <laughs> the river. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three. The, the river, river is calling. <laughs> okay, guys, all the way in South Carolina. Yo, I've met a subscriber. <laughs> This is so awesome, guys. I mean, man, we just out here chilling. And I was just like, I know you. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> awesome. Say hi. Hi, what's up? What's happening? Down here in the country, y'all. Yes. <laughs> She's got the perfect spot right on the river. <laughs> oh, listen, before you leave tomorrow in the daytime, you have to come and see it. But, uh, I think I've had it featured on my channel a couple of times. So. What's your channel's name? What It Do Gigi. What It Do Gigi. Check it out, guys. Check it out. We down here. <laughs> yes. Come down to South Carolina. It's a good time. It's nice and relaxing as well. Very. Um, yeah. Give South Carolina a chance. Uh, hit me up on my Instagram. Let me know, and I've got plenty of space for you to come camp out here, or you've got Kadogo Farms where you can come and camp. It's options out here. Very good options, and you can definitely feel the sense of community out here, and that is something that I think a lot of people in the city miss. So yes, I'm enjoying sure. myself. I have been enjoying myself, and yeah. <laughs> I know this is my last <laughs> night here, so it's nice meeting it's you. It's meeting you too, sweetness. <laughs> yeah. We can't do karaoke, but we can do bar footloose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Another one, Miss Seely, with um, she was singing to uh, in the club. Oh, Shug. Shug, yeah. Okay, we got YouTube. What's this? What's what's that song? That she was singing. Sister. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> in all my mind. Yeah. Sister, we're two of a kind. Oh. Sister, I always like to shake the chimney. See, did you mind shaking? See, I got big ones, so. <laughs> shake the chimney. You see, they did a. You said they did the remake of it. Oh, I cannot wait to see it. All right, guys, it's early in the morning, and it's time to pack up and leave Kadogo Farms. I really enjoyed this experience and i came in here for two different reasons or maybe more than two but uh one of them was to see what it feels like to be on a homestead to she's living my dream in a sense <laughs> Um, she definitely has a whole lot more acreage than I would want. She has, I think, 26 acres of land. and um, But to get the feel of what does it feel like to be on a homestead, absolutely love it. Face my fears of camping out in the woods um, <laughs> with the bugs. But it kind of rained most of the time that we were here, so... The bugs really weren't that active while I was here um, and to meet new people. And I think, you know, I've done all of those things. My fear of bugs is not over, but I'm slowly trying to face those fears and get over it. And I'm not all the way there yet, but... Uh, <laughs> 
just being here, I was able, I felt comfortable. I allowed myself to like walk around, um, you know, by myself <sighs> through the woods. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but I definitely met some awesome people and yeah, it was just, it was just phenomenal. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Leisha. Thank you, Cadoga Farms. Thank you, South Carolina. Much love from Abia. Yeah. So guys, this is where I am going to let you roll out. I am finally get up, get dressed, get my car in drive mode have some coffee with the ladies and yeah and hit the road again so thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video i greatly appreciate it and like i always say live your joy travel safely and i will see you on the next video shalom